everyone's at risk for developing melanoma, unfortunately. We all have skin, so we all have pigment cells, the melanocytes that create the melanoma. For signs and symptoms of melanoma, we often talk about the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. So each individual sign is just one reason to get a dermatologist to look at the lesion, but doesn't necessarily mean you have melanoma. A is for asymmetry, so something that you aren't able to like fold on itself. Like most moles that you're looking at can kind of are circular and they can just, they kind of kind of collapse onto each other and they look the same. So asymmetry is one of the signs. B is for borders. So borders should be regular. If they're irregular or jagged, that also catches our eye. C is for color, which can be multiple colors or very dark colors like black. D is for a diameter. So something that's bigger than a pencil eraser would be something that would catch our eye. So if you imagine taking that pencil, putting it on your mole, if you can still see that mole over coming out the edges, we wanna look at it. E is the most important, that's evolution. So if something is changing, to me that means that the cells are active and that could be a good thing or a bad thing, but we wanna take a look at it. So if it's itching, bleeding, growing, it's brand new, that's a sign. We have a clinical suspicion for a melanoma in clinic, we'll do a biopsy. Biopsy sounds like a scary word, but it's really not. It's very simple. It's an in-office procedure under just local anesthesia, and we send it to the lab. Once that melanoma is diagnosed, what the important part is how deep it is. There are two main layers of the skin, the epidermis and the dermis. The epidermis is our top layer. If the melanoma is just within that top layer, it's called a melanoma in situ or stage zero melanoma. That's the best case scenario. We can cut that out and you are cancer free. However, if the melanoma goes past the epidermis into the dermis, it's now an invasive melanoma. Invasive melanomas are staged in four different stages, just like all the other cancers you know about. The higher the stage, the worse prognosis, unfortunately, but it helps us guide treatment. Here at Signature Healthcare, we're extremely lucky because we have the Green Cancer Center, which is a collaboration with oncologists from the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. So as soon as we get a biopsy report that says it's melanoma, we immediately loop in the Green Cancer Center doctors and collaborate with them to make sure that you're cared for the best way possible. We have a multidisciplinary melanoma program that was started uh, a couple of years ago in the Green Center, and it involves coordinated interactions with our dermatology service, with the medical oncology service, and, and with other appropriate specialists, such as the general surgeons. Then we get started if scans are required, which usually they're not, we will set that up. But we will also assemble the surgical team and ensure that that is performed quickly, and then follow up afterwards. The smart thing to do to prevent melanoma is to be proactive. You wanna be protecting yourself, your loved ones, your children with sunscreen from a young age because actually most of the sun damage happens when you're younger, that impacts you later. Everyone should be wearing an SPF of at least 30 and reapplying every two hours. I think that's the most important thing my patients forget is that you need to reapply either every two hours or if you've been in the water right after that or if you're extremely sweaty after a run, make sure you're reapplying. My most important message to melanoma patients would be to not forget their dermatologist. Often we get caught up in, in our medical treatment, in your chemotherapy, your radiation. It's done, you're cured, and that's fantastic. However, you're still at a high risk for another melanoma or a recurrence of that melanoma. So please keep your dermatologist on speed dial and come in for regular skin checks and for any spot checks you need.